gossip. What's up, world? You're tuned into 423 FM. You already know we've got you covered with your daily dose of celebrity drama. Now let's get into it. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the 423. And we're back with another video on Kanye West. Yesterday, Kanye was all throughout the headlines following his presidential campaign rally in South Carolina. And today, he's back with more controversy in the form of a Twitter rant. Kanye goes on these rants once every couple months, so the fact that he seems sort of unhinged as he tweets back to back to back isn't exactly surprising, but as someone who's been following this man for 15 years, he even said some things that caught me off guard. He's deleted a lot of these tweets since, so I'll do my best to compile everything in order here, but he started off by tweeting out a screenshot of him googling Halle Berry and then Jennifer Lawrence, presumably to show the difference between how the media treats black celebrities and white celebrities. In these screenshots, Google shows Jennifer Lawrence's overall career stats, while for Halle Berry, articles about her love life pop up, but that's just how a search engine works. Halle Berry has been in the headlines today for a picture of her boot up with a new man, while Jennifer Lawrence hasn't had anything going on in a while, so this isn't surprising. But Kanye was trying to prove some sort of point, which he followed up by tweeting a link to Michael Jackson's Black or White. After that, he simply tweeted Drake with a pondering emoji, and followed that up with, Come and get me, this is the exodus like Pusha T said, on God. We all know that Kanye and Drake still aren't on good terms, so this little tidbit wasn't that surprising, but this next set of tweets is where things start to get really weird as Kanye mentions both his wife, Kim Kardashian, and his mother-in-law, Kris Jenner. He started by saying, Kris, don't play with me. You and that Kanye are not allowed around my children. Y'all tried to lock me up. And I'm assuming he's referring to Kris's boyfriend, Corey Gamble, here. He goes on to say, Everybody knows the movie Get Out is about me. I put my life on the line for my children that North's mother would never sell her sex tape. I put my life on God that North's mom would never photograph her doing Playboy and that's on God. I'm at the ranch, come and get me. He continued, Kim tried to bring a doctor to lock me up with a doctor. If I get locked up like Mandela, y'all will know why. He also throws some strays at Shia LaBeouf, saying, Shia is cap. Shia was supposed to do the first Yeezy Gap shoot and he never showed up. He went on to post a screenshot of a text conversation with Kris Jenner in which he sent her a message saying, This yay, you ready to talk now, or are you still avoiding my calls? He also tweeted out a picture of him and his kids saying, The West children will never do Playboy. He then went on to point out the definition of the phrase righteous indignation, which is a reactive emotion of anger over mistreatment, insult, or malice of another. It is akin to what is called the sense of injustice. So, from his point of view, that's what he's doing right now with this Twitter rant. Kanye went on to say, I love my wife. My family must live next to me. It's not up to E or NBC anymore. NBC locked up Bill Cosby. Kim was trying to fly to Wyoming with a doctor to lock me up like on the movie Get Out because I cried about saving my daughter's life yesterday. That's where things ended for right now. Who knows if Kanye will come back to tweet some more or if he finally got a hold of Kris Jenner or Kim who are possibly able to calm him down. Obviously, this is one of Kanye's more shocking rants, because he's not talking about another rapper or one of his friends, but he's speaking to his wife and his mother-in-law in a way that's not exactly respectful. I find this especially interesting because, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, everyone was blaming the Kardashian family and Kim specifically for his outburst, saying they weren't doing anything to help him, when none of us know what's really going on behind the scenes. Kanye is a grown man and you can't get someone help who doesn't want it, which is clearly what's happening here. We already know that when he cut his St. Pablo tour short a few years back, he was put into a mental hospital and commonly speaks now about how negative of an experience that was, so it's not exactly a shocker that he's resistant to do something like that again. But he made it clear that Kim is trying to get him help, and so is the rest of the family, which is just making him even more angry. While I've never believed any of the reports surrounding their marriage and the million headlines a year that say they're headed for divorce, I might be jumping on that train now. Kanye is basically bashing Kris Jenner's parenting in these tweets, saying that she sold Kim's sex tape and made her pose for Playboy to make some money, and that's something he would never do to his own children. 
Whether or not you like the Kardashians, they are some of the most family-oriented people ever, so I just don't see Kim being okay with Kanye bringing her mother and their children into this in such a disrespectful way. It also looks like their living situation is a point of contention because Kanye seems to be in Wyoming almost full-time now, and Kim and the kids are back in Calabasas, which he's blaming on E in his tweets, but Kim has said before that she doesn't want to live in Wyoming full-time, so I don't think that's something she'd be into even if she wasn't filming the show. Clearly, there are some bigger issues going on here than a lot of people thought, and it's not just as simple as, Kim, get your husband, because if there's anyone who cannot be controlled, it's Kanye, and I feel like the more people who try to get him help, the more he's going to resist. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this. Were you surprised to see Kanye call out his wife and his mother-in-law on Twitter? And what do you think this means for his marriage? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe to The 428 for more videos. And if you like this one, just give it a big thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.